This figure is a square with two shaded triangles of area 30 square units and 10 square units inscribed in it. If this length is 4 units, find the area of the square. Note that this diagram is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let the side of the square be h. Since this length is 4 units, it follows that the remaining length will be h, minus 4. Next, let the area of the shaded triangles, be a1, and a2. And the area of this unshaded triangle, be a3. Next, let's label this point. A, B, C, and D. Next, let's draw a perpendicular line from A to BC. Let this point be E. Observe that AE is equal to the side length of the square. So, AE is equal to H. Going further, let's focus on triangle ABC. Let's recall that. The area of a triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height. It follows that the area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 over 2 times BC times AE. Since BC is equal to H, and AE is also equal to H, it follows that the area of triangle ABC will be equal to 1 over 2 times h times h, which is equal to h squared over 2. Also, let's observe that the area of triangle ABC is equal to a1 plus a3. So, we can say that h squared over 2 is equal to a1 plus a3. Since a1 is equal to 30, it follows that h squared over 2 is equal to 30 plus a3. If we make a3 the subject of the formula, we will have a3 is equal to h squared over 2 minus 30. Let this be equation 1. Next, let's focus on triangle BCD. The area of triangle BCD is equal to 1 over 2 times BC times DC. Since BC is equal to H and DC is equal to H minus 4, it follows that the area of triangle BCD will be equal to 1 over 2 times H times H minus 4. Simplifying this will give us h squared over 2 minus 4h over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, we are left with h squared over 2 minus 2h. Also, let's observe that the area of triangle BCD is equal to a2 plus a3. So, we can say that, a2, plus a3, is equal to h squared over 2, minus 2h. Since a2, is equal to 10 square units. It follows that, 10, plus a3, is equal to h squared over 2, minus 2h. If we make a3 the subject of the formula, we will have a3 is equal to h squared over 2, minus 2h, minus 10. Let this be equation 2.
Comparing equation 1 and 2. Observe that, the left side of both equations are equal. So, we can say that. h squared, over 2, minus 2h, minus 10, is equal to h squared, over 2, minus 30. Collecting the like terms will give us h squared over 2 minus h squared over 2 minus 2h is equal to 10 minus 30. h squared over 2 minus h squared over 2 will cancel out. 10 minus 30 is equal to minus 20. So, we are left with minus 2h is equal to minus 20. Dividing through by minus 2 will leave us with h is equal to 10. Now we know the value of h. Let's go ahead and find the area of the square. Let's recall that the area of a square is length times length. Hence, the area of the given square is equal to 10 times 10, which is equal to 100 square units. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.